Hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing? Let me... Oh, there we go. Hey, to try to get the, the glare up out of there. Still a little glaring. There we go. How y'all doing this morning? Well, is it afternoon? Oh, that's right. I'm still in good morning. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How's everybody doing? Let me go ahead and get the notes up this time on this phone, man. How y'all doing this morning? Wishing everybody an amazing, amazing, amazing day. That's right. How y'all doing this morning? Come through, come through, come through. How y'all doing? Hey, as y'all come into the live, first thing first... <laughs> Man, y'all ain't playing. They was just on my live on on um Instagram. <laughs> Look, they was just on my live on Instagram. Go come back talking about hello again, coach. <laughs> Boy, y'all don't be playing. They say, man, if I come in the live late and it's on Instagram, I'm going to TikTok because she going there let next. Man, listen, I love me some y'all. Y'all do not be playing. <laughs> and as soon as it popped up too. Y'all do not be playing. I love me some y'all. Thank you so much. Y'all already blessing me up this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you miss me? Look at here, baby. I am back, honey. And I've been fired up all morning. Okay, so I just got off of Instagram Live. And I had to come over here. Because y'all know, it, it feels, I can go over there and do a live. But, baby, I be having to come back to home, honey. Y'all got to understand, this this home right here. I've been over here since, man, 2019. I wasn't doing lives on here since 2019. I started in 2020. But, still, this this right here, this what we get set on and popping that, baby. But, I'm going to tell you what we talking about right now today, honey. We are talking about dealing with abusive people hello somebody people when i say abusive people i'm talking about mentally and emotionally abusive people hello somebody double tap on my screen real quick go ahead and send me some love because y'all got yeah i got to tell you how to deal with them I really and truly do. So come on in and tell me where you're viewing me from so I can shout out some of y'all's areas real quick. How y'all doing this morning? The Bay Area, I see y'all checking in. How y'all doing, man? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Virginia is here. I see y'all in Virginia. Okay, let's go, man. Lafayette, Louisiana, Las Vegas is here. Atlanta's here. Illinois, Houston is here. Wyoming, Ohio, Tampa, Florida. They go Brooklyn. Alabama, Wisconsin, I see y'all. They go Miami. How y'all doing? Alabama, like, baby, we here. <laughs> England, what's going on in England, Philadelphia? I see y'all, Milwaukee, Phoenix, Arizona, Long Island, New York, New Jersey is here as well. What's up, Ohio? How y'all doing, man? Good morning, good morning. South Florida, how y'all doing? Baltimore is here. Trinidad is here. Mexico is here. Okay, Big Texas is here. Y'all know I love me some Texas. What up, Dallas? What up, Houston? What up, Waco? What's going on, man? OKC is in the building. Indianapolis is here. Indiana is here. Come on, check in. What's up, Chicago? I see y'all as well. Um, Orange County, California, Maryland is here. More Philly checking in. Kentucky is here. St. Louis is here. How y'all doing? Jacksonville, Temple is here. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Tennessee? How y'all doing, man? Kansas City is here. That's what I'm talking about. I love you. I love your content. I love you. How y'all doing this morning, man? What we gonna be talking? South Africa is here. I see you guys checking in. Oklahoma is here. Y'all already double tapping on the screen. Michigan is in the building. South Carolina, North Carolina, San and um San Jose. I see you guys as well. Puerto Rico. I see you guys. Central Valley, California. Oh man, y'all ain't playing. Y'all all over the place this morning. Let's go. Come on, Mississippi. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Listen, one of the things that you got to understand is this right here. You're going to run into some manipulative people no matter where you go. That's in a job, a, a church, that's in a, your family, that's a relationship, a marriage, whatever it is. You're going to always encounter some type of messy folk. Understand some manipulative folks, some folk that think that they know more about you and your life and what you need to do and how you should do it over you. And one of the things that I want to tell y'all this morning is I want us to go through my notes, right? Because I want you to put on your whole armor when you're dealing with these type of people. And what I don't want you to do is to continue to go over there, giving these people the power over your life. Oh, baby, you, I can't afford that. I don't know about nobody else, but I can't afford to give nobody no type of power over my life. You're not going to be able to do that, baby. I will not be your puppet. You will not be my puppet master. Understand that. Because a lot of times what happens is when you're dealing with people that are mentally and emotionally abusers, what happens is they're projecting their fears and their insecurities on you. 
Put that in your notes. That's right. Yeah, you you projecting right now. Go ahead and put you projecting right now. When I'm going to get deep into it, put it in the comments real quick. Oh, baby, you projecting right now. Because the, the, the stuff that you talking about right now, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Y'all done been in this situation. Y'all know that y'all have done been in that situation where a person is over there trying to tell you about yourself, tell you about you and how you feel and how you look and how you this and how you that. And you know for a fact that that's not you. But every single thing it is that they are saying, that's really them. That's how they act. That's how they speak. That's how they carry on. But what they'll try to do is project on you and make it seem as though you're the problem, you're the villain, you're the bad guy. And that's what you got to understand that when people start projecting their fears and their insecurities and their toxic behaviors on you, you got to be smart enough to be able to identify those things and shut it down. You got to shut it down right then and there, right when you, when you see it happening. So your first note is going to be is to shut it down. Do not allow somebody to come into your life and speak that negativity over your life to play with your mental health and make it seem as though you are the problem in every situation, that you're the villain in every situation. Understand that. Well, don't you take on nobody else's drama, nobody else's baggage, nobody else's chaos. Understand, I'm not going to be able to do it, baby. I ain't carrying nobody else's baggage in this season right here. I'm going to tell you that right now. Understand that's not me. And you shut it down. How do I shut it down, coach? By identifying what it is in that moment. Right when they say in it and you know for a fact that that's not you, you owe it to yourself to speak up in that moment. Hold up. I don't mind somebody talking to me. If you're going to talk to me like somebody, I don't mind us having a healthy communication, you know, conversation about anything. But what you will not do, you won't bash me. You won't discredit me. You won't slander me. You won't belittle me. You won't make me feel like I'm less than. You will not make me feel like I don't measure up. You won't make me feel like I'm not good enough. You won't make me feel like I got to compete with a single soul. I'm going to let you know that right now before we even get good into this conversation. If you're not about to take responsibility for your own actions, then guess what? It ain't no need. And you thinking that I'm about to sit over here and have no conversation with you. Hello, somebody. You shut it down right when you when they saying it. Oh, baby, that's not me. That's you. That's how you act. What you're doing in that moment is you're projecting. You're putting your things on me. I know for a fact that that's not me. You shut it down. And yes, you are going to get some flack. You are going to have some folk that going to feel a certain type of way about it. You are going to have some folk that's going to be like, why you say that? And why you say, because they're used to you not speaking up because they're used to you not knowing what's going on or pretending not to know. Oh, I'm going to get to the pretending part because that's the red ink pen note. Your black note was to say that you're, you're the projecting and me letting you know what the projecting is. Projecting is when they over there trying to make their issues yours, when they trying to put their toxic behavior on you, when they trying to make you feel as though you're the person that's causing the drama, the chaos and all of that, when you know for a fact that it ain't you. But I'm going to the mosey on on over here when we start talking about this boundary real quick, right? So first and foremost, you got to let it be known exactly Exactly what it is because what I'm not about to do right now I want you to understand sweetheart in a red ink pen jot it across your notes what we're not doing in this season is pretending <laughs> yeah let that sit and soak and sizzle with you in your spirit because I meant that babe I'm gonna tell you that right now I don't care how nobody feel about it. I ain't doing no pretending babe I'm about to be 45 the last thing I'm gonna do is pretend I ain't got no pretending left in me I, I am not a child sweetheart we not about to do no pretending out here hello somebody I'm too old to pretend that I don't know that you're walking me like a dog we too old to be pretending that you're not breaking my heart we too old to be pretending that I don't see the fact that you're not able to communicate effectively I'm not doing no more pretending you know how they oh yeah we gotta pretend to be the fool, the fool, the fool. I'm not doing none of that. If you can't be open, you can't be honest, you can't be transparent with me, then get from around me altogether. Because I'm not playing blind or crazy for nobody. I'm gonna call it exactly what it is. I'm not doing no pretending. Hello, somebody. Put it in a red ink pen and put it inside your notes. Oh, I'm done pretending, baby. I'm not about to do that. When I'm upset, you gonna know it. When I feel away, you're gonna know it. When I feel disrespected, you're gonna know it. I'm not bottling down how I feel. I'm not tiptoeing around how I feel. I'm not about to play nice so we can get along. Not about to avoid the elephant in the room. Not about to do none of that. When it comes down to pretending, I'm going to leave that for the churn. I'm not doing no pretending with nobody. I'm holding grown folk accountable. Not only am I not pretending, because I'm going to add this on to it. Not only am I not doing no pretending, but I ain't giving nobody no more benefits or no doubts neither.
<laughs> yeah, that was my passion, right? <laughs> that was my passion talking, but add, <laughs> add that to the nose, too. Because, baby, yeah, yeah, I'm tell you, I ain't doing that neither. I don't care what nobody say. I ain't got no more benefits of the doubts left in me. I'm going to tell you that I ain't, go, I ain't doing no more benefits of the doubts neither. I don't got that left in me neither. I am all benefit of the doubt out. I'm all out of that. I ain't got no more size of benefits of the doubt. Let me tell you why. Because I find myself, anytime you over there giving somebody the benefit of the doubt, then you end up playing yourself. When you give them the benefit of the doubt, that's just like you saying, I know what you done. And I know that you know what you done. But I'm going I'm to act like we didn't see that. Or I'm going to act like that didn't have this or didn't have that. I ain't got no more benefit of the doubt to give nobody. You are exactly who you showed me that you were. I'm done trying to make people be who I want them to be and trying to do this and do that to make them look better and a better light. I'm no longer doing that, sweetheart. No benefit of the doubt to give not a single soul. I'm holding grown folk accountable. Why? Because these people know exactly what it is that they're doing. They know the impact that it's going to have on your life. They know that it's going to leave you broken. They know that it's going to leave you down bad. They know that it's going to leave you with a face full of tears and they went and done it anyway. I ain't got no benefit of doubt to give nobody. I ain't doing that. No, you are exactly who you showed me that you was. Next! That's it. That's all. You got to stand up for yourself and you got to shut down that negativity right there when it happened. No, sir. No, ma'am. You will not put your fears, your insecurities. You will not dump your trauma on me. <coughs> that's your first thing. That's your first no, friend. I'm coming back. <coughs> I got to give my people time to write. Y'all know I talk fast. I got I to gotta give them time to write. Friend, I told y'all I was fired up already, honey. I was in the gym thinking about this him. All right, your second note right here. Wait a minute, where we at? Oh, y'all oh y'all ain't playing with them likes neither. Y'all almost at 100K. Okay, well, let's go on, mosey on to the next step. And you, the other thing, you got to know who it is that you're talking to. That's black ink pen right there. Know who you are talking to. Ooh, yeah, that right there, that right there, that's epic right there. That's that's epic right there. Let me tell you why, because when I start breaking that down, a lot of y'all about to double tap so crazy, it ain't gonna make no sense. A lot of y'all gonna get to throw in your purses. Some of y'all throwing shoes. Sis, do throw everything but the phone, because I got some more notes. You got to know who you're talking to, sweetheart. Let me tell you why. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand, you got to stop expecting people that don't like themselves to like you. You got to stop expecting for folk who don't love themselves to love you. You got to stop expecting for folk that don't know what it is that they want out of their own life to know what it is that they're doing in yours. You can't expect that from those type of folk. So when you're looking at these people and you already know who it is that you're dealing with, you got to make a conscious decision right there in that moment as to whether or not you even deserve a response from me you know because some folk you can't even give a response to some folk you can't even sit down and have a conversation with some folk ain't even worth you addressing what it is that they done because whatever that disrespect was that they done from the very beginning you got to understand that the rebuttal to that the argument that's going to come from that can be just as draining as whatever it is that they done from the very beginning if i come and approach you about it the only thing that you're going to do is project if i come and say something to you about it the only thing that you're gonna do is go outside your way to try to make me a villain go outside your way to try to make me the bad guy go outside your way to try to destroy me as a person that's what you're gonna do if i step up and tell you how i feel you're gonna only try to find a way to try to make me feel wrong and in that situation you got a, you had a decision to make yeah you had a decision to make <laughs> is it worth it is it worth your peace is it worth your sanity is it worth it See, sometimes you got to pick and choose your battles, baby. And when people are already over there living the worst life that they can possibly live, if they already comfortable dancing with their demons, if they already okay with the life that they got going on right there, what you got to understand is that some folk just want company, right? As long as we down bad together, we good. As long as we, yeah, well, as long as we ain't got nothing together, then we're good. As long as we struggling together, then we're good. As long as you're not trying to go nowhere and I'm not trying to go nowhere, then we all good. People don't have a problem with you until you start wanting to grow people don't have a problem with you until you start wanting to heal people don't have an issue with you until you start making yourself a priority in your life and when you start making yourself a priority in your life when you start fully working on yourself when you start putting all of your focus on you then they get offended and the reason why they get offended by you choosing you and working on you is because they are upset with the impact that it's going to have on their life Come on, man. <laughs> come, 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 come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's put it out there. You know what I mean? We can't we can't afford to play nice, baby. We can't afford to tiptoe around. You can we can't afford that. I gotta give it to you real, baby. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be real blunt with this right here. I can't I can't water it down. I can't sugarcoat it. They're not concerned about you, sweetheart. I know that that might be what you be telling yourself because you wanna think that they care. You wanna think that they're invested. You wanna think that they're on board. You wanna think that you know they gonna be upset about this, that, and the third, and they just want you around. The truth of the matter is they don't want you at the conference. They don't want you at the seminar. They don't want you pick up help books. They don't want you in mental health support groups. They don't want you around friends and family members that's going to tell you about you because the moment that you become aware of what it is that you got going on and start trying to fix yourself, what's going to happen in that moment, you're going to start viewing them different. <laughs> Woo, baby. Come on, talk to me nice. Gonna have to, baby. You have, yeah, yeah, double tap on my screen. Send me some. See, they, 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 they not concerned about you. They concerned about the effect that it's gonna have on their life. See, if you start growing and you start taking yourself seriously, if you start really giving yourself permission to do what? To heal, to grow, to let go. If you start giving yourself that type of permission to move forward in your life and you start making a conscious effort to create a better version of you, then I know for a fact what's going to happen is it's going to change the way that you view me. You're gonna start picking up on my toxic behavior. You're going to start picking up on my narcissistic behavior. You're going to start picking up on the manipulative ways that I have and you're going to start holding me accountable. You're going to start pointing things out and if you start doing that, then what do they lose, coach? What are they really upset about, coach? They are upset because they are about to lose that level of control that they have on your life. Yeah, I told y'all some people like ying on you might not like this one. Right? You might not like this one right here, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all looking for somebody to whisper to you, this ain't gonna be live, baby, because I'm too turned up. Yeah, yeah, this this one ain't gonna be for you today, baby. Cause I'm too turned for this one, honey. Understand that these folk don't be concerned about you. They be concerned about the control that they about to lose. Understand that as long as they got you over there with your confidence on the ground, as long as they got you over there with your self esteem broken, as long as you don't know your worth and you don't value the person that you are, then they have total control over your mental health they got control over your emotions they dictate what it is you do and you don't do you gotta know how to speak up for yourself you gotta let folk know right then and there when they start projecting shut it down that's not me that's you you gotta speak up for yourself you gotta let folk know i'm not pretending to be nothing oh y'all ain't pretending to nobody baby i'm talking about i'm doing whatever is necessary that's what they're afraid of. You're afraid of what the necessaries is. It ain't even that you care about where I'm going. You're concerned about the necessaries. That's what you're concerned about. You're concerned about the necessaries. Because you know that once some necessaries start happening, then you already know what time that's going to be for you. Y'all double tap on my screen. If you know for a fact that I'm in your house right now, in your relationship, your family ship, your job ship, your church ship, whatever ship that you on right now that you know ain't shipping the way that it's supposed to, say ouch and send a gift real quick. And I don't care what gift it is, say ouch and send a gift. If you know for a fact that, wait a minute coach, I just woke up and I woke woke up and I wasn't in the best spirit this morning. I woke up and I didn't know what I was going to get into when I got on TikTok. I woke up this morning and I've been dragging all morning. I didn't know what was going to happen and whatnot, but baby, what I needed to hear is just what you said. I got to show up and make myself a priority. I got to show up and I got to focus on myself. Even when it don't look pretty, you got to show up. Even when it's not a pillow of pink roses, you got to show up. Everything that you're doing in this season of your life, it should be personal and it should be strictly about you. And that's what offends people. People. Nothing pisses people off more than you're focusing on yourself and your development because the more that you focus on you and your development, they know that they will lose that control that they once had over you. I can't expect folks to be what? I can't expect for you to like me when you don't like you. Can't expect for you to love me when you don't even love you. I can't expect for you to show up for me. You won't even show up for you. I can't afford, expect for you to pour into me when I see for a fact that you won't even pour into you. You got to know the people that you are dealing with. You got to know the people that you are dealing with so that you can know how to respond to certain folk. And why do you say that, coach? Because some folks simply don't deserve a response. <laughs> That's a red <rap> pen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't you don't even deserve a response, baby. I'm telling some folk don't deserve a response. You don't you don't even you don't know you don't even deserve a response. Cause yeah, uh-huh. 
Yeah, because what you want to do is ruin my day and I ain't going to give you that power. What you want to do is ruin my good mood and I ain't going to give you that type of power. What you want to do is try to dictate how I move, what I say, and who I'm with and I ain't going to give you that type of power or authority over my life. What you doing this morning, coach? I'm telling people to take back their power. Understand that it's nothing like being an individual that knows when to disconnect. That's your third note that put it in black ink pen. Knowing when to disconnect, when to walk away, when to hang up the phone. Understand that if you don't set those type of boundaries in your life when folks are disrespecting you when they're talking to you crazy when they're going outside of their way trying to do the absolute most you need to let it be known if you talk like that to me then i'm walking away if you get the yelling through my phone then i'm going to hang up if you start acting like you want to be abusive in any type of way shape or form then i'm going to disconnect from you and when i disconnect then that's exactly what it's going to be what is that called that's a boundary Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm instilling boundaries and I'm enforcing them. If you disrespect my boundary, there's a consequence. I will walk away. I will hang up. I will disconnect. Understand that you got to start holding folk accountable for certain things that's going on in your life. Because if you don't, they will run a mock in your life. They show enough will. They will plumb food all up and through your life. Pick and choose how they want to deal with you, when they want to deal with you, in the manner and all that. Baby, I'm not your Tonka truck. I'm not your Barbie doll. I'm not your train track you will not pick and choose when you want to deal with me i'm not doing no running after folk i'm not begging no folk i'm not coming over there trying to prove myself or prove my love to not a soul baby i, I tell you what like i told you the other time should have caught me when i cared should have caught me when i didn't know no better but right now today i want you to understand baby uh, yeah play with me if you want to go play where it's safe and it won't be with me Go, yeah, you better go play where it's safe because it won't be with me. You got to understand the power of your disconnect. That is a red ink pen note right there. There's power in my disconnect. There's power in my walking away. Why do you say that, coach? I say that because you got to understand that not everybody is able to walk away. Oh, thank you for your subscription, man. And I've seen the emojis coming. Appreciate you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. That means a lot, man. You know, it took me forever to even turn my subscriptions on because I didn't know if people were going to take offense to it or not but to see you guys been subscribing since yesterday that's amazing man thank y'all i appreciate that for real for real but you got to understand the power of your disconnect that's a red ink pen note for you right there the power of your disconnect let me tell you why because everybody can't do it everybody can't walk away baby and you know why everybody won't walk away because they feel as though if you walk away that's a coward move if you walk away if you walk away that's a weak move if you walk away that means that you gullible it means that you ain't got no guts like how you gonna let somebody talk to you like that how you gonna let somebody do this and that and people expect for you to stand up there and to say this and to say that and to go back and forth and exchange that type of negative energy and what I'm telling you right now is I've seen so many people throw their lives away by responding to negativity i've seen so many people throw their whole entire point you had a solid point and it meant everything but because you exchanged that negative energy because you got down on their level then guess what you threw that valid point you threw that valid point slam out the window nobody even cares anymore and the reason why they don't care is because now you and that individual are the same exact person there's power in you walking away and walking away shows strength because people have lost their lives by standing up there. People have lost jobs by standing up there. People have lost family and family members by standing up there arguing with people who already feel like they don't have nothing to lose. One thing that my grandmother told me a long time ago is a person that don't have nothing to lose will help you lose everything that you got. You owe it to yourself that understand who you're dealing with and understand the power of you just simply walking away. With that, what you mean, coach? Because when I walk away, that means that I'm in control of my emotions. When I, yeah, yeah, come on, talk to me. Nice, coach. Yeah, come on, come on now. That, that's, that's, that's the part right there. When I walk away, that means I'm mastering my emotions. If I got coaches on here, come on, send me some love. Hello, somebody. That's right. When I, when I, when I walk away, when I preserve my energy, when I protect my peace, when I don't allow you to upset me or to upset my mood or to pull me out of position, in that moment, I'm mastering. Mastering. <laughs> I'm mastering my emotions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm mastering my emotions. 
I'm mastering my emotions. Once you learn how to control those emotions, sweetheart, oh baby, you that's top tier right there. Because you got to understand that anytime you operate out of your emotions, it's going to cost you every single time. Every single time that you operate out of your emotions and you respond to folk through your emotions and whatnot, it's going to cost you every single time. And it might be a little or a lot, but it's definitely going to cost you. That's the reason why I say every single video to do what? Step back and step away. Utilize your temporary boundary. That temporary boundary teaches you what what to accept and what to reject that temporary boundary will give you that opportunity to step back and process what it is that you feel so that you can respond in a healthier way so that you can respond in a way that is perfectly strategized so that you can respond in a way where you've already prepared yourself for the consequences that's going to follow that oh baby that's right i don't respond out of emotion i respond out of out of wisdom not out of emotions I respond out of, out of wisdom. That's right. That means everything that I, I, I already planned this out. So even if this costs me that relationship, then I'm good. If it costs me that friendship, I'm good. If it costs me that family, then I'm good. Because I'm no longer operating out of my emotions. Because if I operate out of my emotions, I'm going to go from zero to prison. If I, if I operate out of my emotions, this ain't going to pan out the way that we want to pan out. But because I know that I got too much. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. If you got too much on the table, double tap on my screen. Yeah, yeah. If you if you got too much on the table, double tap on my screen. Cause some of us, yeah, I got too. I, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna get it. If, yeah, I got too much on the table, Coach. I got too much on the table. If you got too much on the on the table, go ahead and double tap on my screen. Thank y'all so much. I see the gifts coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all might have missed that. Some of that, it might have went over your head when I say that. When we say you got too much on the table, that means I got too much to lose. That means that I ain't did all this praying for nothing. I ain't did all this fasting for nothing. I ain't did all this meditating for nothing. I ain't read all. All these self-help books i'm not doing that for nothing i'm not signing up for no mental health support groups no seminars no conferences no empowerment events all of that i'm not doing all of that for nothing you think i'm gonna do all of that work on myself to go over here and throw it away on an individual that don't even like themselves you think i'm gonna do all of that work spend all of that money do all of that traveling going back and forth to these different bookstores and going on here and doing all these audio books and whatnot all this work on myself for me to simply throw it away on an individual that don't like themselves that don't love themselves that won't show up for themselves that's over there that's comfortable with the bare minimum that's comfortable with that lack thinking that's comfortable dealing with that broken behavior you mean to tell me i'm gonna throw all this work that i've been doing on myself away oh yeah like they gonna kill <laughs> yeah 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 i look like my grandmama when she say <laughs> like they gonna kill you think them folk gonna kill you think they gonna kill they not let me just be real with you for a second but they don't they don't care their mission, their goal is to destroy you. Their mission, their goal is to hurt you. Their mission, their goal is to belittle you, to slander you, to make you feel as though you absolutely need them. Their mission, their goal is to be able to control you. And the more that you sitting over there and interacting with them and responding to them that way, then guess what? You're giving them your power every single time. You got to understand the power of walking away. When you walking away, you're protecting your peace. When you walking away, you're protecting your sanity. When you walking away, let me go ahead and and make it re make real sense for you when you're walking away you're protecting what is valuable to you oh baby this is valuable and like i told my my people in my last class over in the patreon baby you got to understand we protect everything that's valuable to us we lock up our cards we lock up our houses we make sure that we secure our bank information we lock up everything that is valuable to us but we don't lock up our own mental health how you not guard your focus how you not protect your peace how you not on top of that? Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> oh no, ma'am, baby. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not finna let nobody do that there to me, sweetheart. And sometimes you gotta. Get, there you go. I like. I like those two emojis you put. You gotta understand that you gotta. You gotta lock that away as well. I can't let everybody have that type of access to me. Understand that I can't let you have that type of access. I can't let you have that type of power. That type of control. That type of authority over my life. And you gotta understand that again when they're projecting and they're saying certain things to you that doesn't have anything to do with you. So third note that I want you to jot down is you got to understand what is for you and what is not. Just because somebody say that you are an angry person does not mean that you got to turn into an angry person. Just because somebody say you always sad, always depressed, always complaining does not mean that you got to take on those characteristics. You got to understand if you know that that's not you, if you know for a fact that that's not how you operate, that's not how your mannerisms is set up, then you have to address that issue right there when it's happening. Oh baby, that's the devil 
devil is a lie. You're trying to project at that at that moment. You want me to be that person so bad. You want me to be angry. You want me to be complaining. You want me to be acting like this and acting like that so that it can justify the way that you're treating me. To try to justify the way that you're speaking to me. To try to justify what it is that you got going on right now and what I'm about to do. I'm not about to allow you to have that type of power or control over my life. I'm just not about to do it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Let me get back into the notes. It's power in your walking away. Dismantle that thinking that, oh, oh you, if you walk away, you weak. Dismantle that thinking. Dismantle that if you walk away, you got power, baby. Right. What I look like throwing my whole life away because of somebody else. Expecting you to be something to me that you can't even be to yourself. Come on, talk to me nice. You know what I mean? How many times have we been sitting over here expecting somebody to love us and we didn't sit over there and deal with them and understand that they don't even have that type of love for themselves? You don't even show up for yourself. You ain't even really living up to your own fullest potential. You over there still afraid of your own success. You over there still comfortable sitting up under that broken thinking that you got from great granny and the grannies before that. You still over there with that same type of thinking that oh yeah everybody lie everybody cheat everybody this that and the third you still carrying around that same exact trauma so why in the world would i be expecting anything different from you anytime somebody come into your life and they start talking to you about things that they didn't went through in their past and how they'll never love this and never love that never trust this never trust that and got abandonment issues and everything else be able to identify that baggage oh baby that's baggage right there and i'm not carrying nobody's baggage so if you're not in a position to love me get out my face if you cannot communicate effectively get out my face if you over there and you got trust issues and abandonment issues from folk that have been in your life prior to me then do me a favor get on up out my face go and heal from that because if you think for one second that you about to come over here and dump on me i'm not your dumping ground and that ain't happening over this way come all the way here or don't come at all hello somebody because that's exactly what they'll do they'll come into your life and try to discredit you to try to slander you and belittle you because they want you to pay the cost for what somebody else done and i'm not about to do that next you know, I, ain't, I ain't about to be out here playing. I ain't, I ain't about to be. Out, I ain't about to be out here playing. When I got more notes, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Knowing when to leave. Knowing when to leave, baby. Knowing when, knowing when to leave is a must. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know when to leave. You gotta know when to leave. Street. Well, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been trying to, I've been trying to work it out with them. I've been trying to understand it, and I've been trying to do this, and I've been trying to do that, and I just don't know what to do at this point. You know what I'm saying? I want you to understand, baby. Uh, hear me when I say this. Knowing when to leave is extremely important because overstaying your welcome would drain you. Overstaying and overextending yourself and your services. Your or finances etc will leave you feeling drained it will leave you feeling used and abused and taken advantage of when you identify the fact that these folks are in your life and they don't love you the way that you love them and they're not willing to make those same sacrifices that you're willing to make in that moment you gotta understand that you gotta bow out gracefully you ain't gotta you ain't gotta make no subliminal post you ain't gotta go crazy with it you ain't gotta make no scene you ain't gotta get nobody on your side you ain't gotta get no team or folk or anything like that all you got to do is bow out gracefully. It's power in walking away. One more time for the folks in the back. Knowing when to leave is extremely important. When you sitting over there and you and they telling you that you, they love you and you don't feel the love that they say that they have. When they telling you that they respect you but you don't feel the respect that they say that they have. When they telling you that I want to be here but you don't feel that they want to be there and you're now sitting over there questioning yourself trying to figure out what is it that I can do differently. How can I move differently because I want them to do this and want them to do that. I want you to understand something, sweetheart. Sometimes you got to leave folk right there where you met them at. Hello, somebody. If you got to prove yourself in a relationship, then that's not the relationship for you. If you got to prove your love and prove that you're trustworthy and prove that you're committed in any type of way, shape, or form to an individual that you ain't never done nothing to, that you have never disrespected, that you've never lied to, never cheated on, and have gone outside of your way since the very beginning of the relationship to provide that level of love, respect, and reassurance. I want you to understand something here. Uh, you, you, I'm not proving myself to nothing or nobody. I'm going to tell you that. Right, yo, okay, hold your breath. Hold your breath now. Hold your breath while you wait. If I'm not proving myself to nobody. You, who is you? I'm 
not finna, I'm not finna do that. I'm not finna go outside my way to try to prove myself not to a soul. Listen here, son, daughter, whoever is you is, baby, I'm trying to tell you, I'm not about to do that. Hold your breath, baby. Hold your breath while you wait. Understand that because that, that I'm not about to play that game with nobody. You would not try to belittle me and think that you have that type of power over me mentally that you're going to make me feel like I got to go outside of my way to prove to you why you should love me, to prove to you why you should choose me. If you ever in a situation and you feel like you got to pick in between me and anybody, please pick that other person because I can promise you I ain't going to do right. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yup. I, 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 I'm telling you. Pick them because I ain't gonna do right. Mm -mm. Pick that friend. I'm trying to be honest with y'all. I, 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 I'm, I, that was me being transparent. That was me being transparent. That was, I told y'all I got a problem with that. I can't be nothing but honest, honey. I'm probably the most honest person. I'll be brutally honest, baby. Pick them because I ain't gonna do right. I ain't gonna do right, friend. Come on. Yeah, I don't. I want, I want to put it out there. Pick them because I ain't gonna do right. Because once I see the type of what you own, I'm gonna be on that. Once I see that that's how you gonna move, I'm, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and pick them so I can continue to act right. Go ahead and pick them so I can go on about my business because I already know what's gonna happen when I show you all on my daddy and daughter. I can already tell you what's gonna happen if I put that on two players. If I put it on two players, you gonna feel it in your chest. If I put it on two players, you gonna get your little ball and your little scooter and you gonna wanna get home as fast as possible if i put it on two players then y'all yeah 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 if i put it on two uh, two players and you want to be a dog and i show you big clifford then you're gonna be mad at me then you're really gonna be wanting to fuss and fight so what i'm gonna do is power of what i'm power of leaving i'm gonna leave y'all i'm gonna leave mm -mm. I'm going to leave. I'm going <laughs> baby. I'm going to leave. Cause when you got too much on the table, you cannot afford to act that way. When you got too much on the table, you cannot afford to respond that type of way. But sometimes you got to let folk know that just because I'm working on myself, just because I'm working on my development, just because I'm creating a better version of myself does not mean that I'm no coward. It does not mean that I'm weak minded. It does not mean that I'm gullible. It does not mean that I'm a poor Push over in no type of way, shape, or form, sweetheart. I need for you to understand that I'm a good person by choice. I'm doing better in my life by choice. I'm doing what I'm doing in my life right now. I'm doing this by choice because, baby, the same opportunities that you have, the same options that you got out there, don't think for a skinny minute that I ain't got them same options, that I ain't got them same choices. I'm just choosing to do something better in my life. But, baby, don't, yeah, don't you do that. Mm-mm. Don't, yeah, so, so I, I, I believe in being real with people, y'all. I'm sorry. I believe. I believe in being. <laughs> I, I just. I just. I, I just believe in being real. You feel me? I believe in being real, and even these type of situations, sometimes you gotta let folk know exactly what time it is, baby. I'm good to you by choice. I'm respectful to you by choice. I'm living the way that I'm living to make sure that I don't make a mockery out of you on on purpose. I'm making sure that I don't publicly humiliate you on purpose. Every single day that I wake up, I'm loving you on purpose. I'm catering to you and doing the things that I'm doing for you and in this relationship on purpose. Don't ever make me feel as though I gotta do otherwise because that's where the problem will come in at. Because sometimes when people look at you in your life and they see the decisions that you're making and that you're on the path of trying to reconstruct your life and do things like that, then they look at you and they want to think that you're weak or they want to think that you're gullible. Oh, baby, I ain't one of them. I don't know about nobody else. That's why I don't be trying to... Mm -mm. I ain't trying to, I, I, I'm not one of them though. One, I tell y'all every single live video, rare baby, rare breed, one of one. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you every single time. Okay, the other thing that I want you to understand is this right here. Y'all got y'all ink pens out. Number one is knowing who you're dealing with, which is what I already told you guys. Knowing who you're dealing with, identifying the people that you're dealing with is going to be extremely important because when you are when you identify the people that you're dealing with, it's going to make you understand that some people... People are not worth the response some people are not going to be accepting of the response and some people just simply do not deserve it right so the first thing that you got to understand that when you're dealing with an abusive person that is abusive mentally or emotionally is identifying the individual that you're dealing with and understanding that some folk are going to be negative they're going to find something negative no matter what it is so you have to pick and choose your battles because some of these folks they will be disrespectful they will be rude they'll do all these different things and guess what their rebuttal to that situation will be just as draining, just as disrespectful, just as humiliating as whatever it is that they done in the very beginning. So when that happens, hey, I don't even want to argue with you. Boundary. 
I don't even want to go back and forth. Boundary. Don't even want to have that conversation. Boundary. You are who you showed me that you are. What's next? Not. I'm, I'm not even dealing. Right? The second thing is understanding your wounds and understanding your triggers. You got to understand. You got to identify those things. When people are saying things and doing things and throwing them out to you and those things make you feel dis disrespected or uncomfortable, when they make you feel inferior, when it makes it feel, make you feel as though you're not measuring up or you're not good enough or you got to you know reconform the person that you are to cater to them you have got to understand what your triggers are so that you can respond in a more positive way you got to know what your triggers are so that when you do reply to the disrespect or the things that's going on in your life you're responding in a way that's not out of your emotions but out of wisdom hello somebody all right so the number one was knowing the people that you're dealing with the second one was um understanding your wounds slash triggers the third thing that I I need for you to write down is mastering your emotions which is also what we talked about understanding that there's power in you walking away there's power in you controlling the person that you are do not give anybody that type of power over your life as to they can dictate how your day gonna go how your mood gonna be whether you're going to be happy or sad, you do not give anybody that type of power over your life. I don't care what type of day that they're having. I don't care what kind of storm that they're standing in. I don't care what didn't happen to them over there. Don't You do not allow anybody to project what it is that they're going through onto you. Oh, baby, that's where we're going to draw that line at right there. I understand that you're having a bad day. I understand that you're in a bad mood. I understand that things ain't going your way, but you will not make me have a bad day or be in a bad mood because of you. You got to know exactly where they end and you begin. You will not dump your baggage. You will not dump your trauma. You will not dump your insecurities or your fears on me. That's where I'm drawing the line and I ain't going to be able to do it. Find you somebody else, baby. Understand that mastering your emotions is knowing when to simply walk away. When to cut off that energy. I'm not about to do that with you. I'm not I'm not about that. You're gonna have to have your day your way because I'm gonna have mine mine. I woke up this morning and I decided I was gonna have a good day. I decided that I was gonna be at peace. I decided that I wouldn't let nothing do, that was gonna ruin me ruin that for me. And guess what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you're already committed to having a bad day, then that's what you're gonna have. If you're already committed to being in a bad mood, then that's what you're gonna have. But you will not put that off on me. And the fourth thing that I need you to understand is no knowing knowing when to disengage when to cut it off completely this was the one right here baby i need for you to understand that when you identify that you're dealing with a person that is abusive mentally emotionally i need for you to understand that those people that type of abuse is just as bad as physical abuse you may not have a burnt or black eye or a busted lip but having somebody have that type of control over your mental somebody having that type of power over what it is that you think about yourself having that type of control that type of power as to dictate how your day is going to go whether you're going to be happy or sad if your mood is going to be this or that having somebody to have that type of control where you're under their thumb on a regular basis baby that is a empty life there's no fulfillment in it you're that puppet and they're your puppet master in that moment you owe it to yourself to take back your power. You should never let anybody have that type of power, that type of control over your life. And I don't care who it is. Your family members, your mother, your father, your children. Your, not, not no marriage, no relationship, no situationship. No friendships even. I don't care. You have to be fair and consistent all the way across the board. And when you identify that something is not good for you, it's not beneficial to you, it's not going to help you grow, help you heal, help you evolve, help you create a better version of yourself, not help you accomplish your goals. When you identify that these things are not fueling you, then it's trash. And you can't heal from it and hold on to it at the same time. I'm going to run it back. You can't heal from it 
and hold on to it at the same time. You got to turn it loose. You gonna have to turn it loose. Period. Point blank. Put it in your notes. You gonna have to turn. I'm gonna have to turn that loose. If it's not good for you, you got to turn it loose. If it's not helping you grow, it's got to turn you loose. If it ain't giving you peace, you got to turn it loose. You cannot heal from it and hold on to it at the same time. You got a decision that you have to make. You cannot hold on to your past. Hold on to the things that's damaging you. Hold on to the things that's keeping you mentally drained. The things that's making you feel disrespected or humiliated. Holding on to the toxic uh, folk, the, the manipulative folk, the abusive folk. You cannot not hold on to these people and think that you can heal from them at the same time. That's not how it works. And we only hold it on to it because it's familiar. That's right. We, 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 we only hold on to it because it's familiar. We only hold on to it because we're afraid to let it go. We only hold on to it because we don't know what the unknown going to bring. We only hold, hold on to it, Coach, because that's where my comfort zone is. And I know that it's not right. And I know that they don't love me. And I know that they don't support me. And I know that they won't show up for me. And I know that they won't pour into me. And I know that they won't give me the same type of love and affection and make the same type of sacrifices. And I, I know this about it, but I still hold on to it because me turning it loose means that I'm willing to walk all the way away. And if I turn it loose, then what am I going to do next? And the thing about life is you got to be a risk taker. The thing about life is you got to understand that there's no real growth inside that comfort zone if you want to do something different in your life and if you want to get something different in your life you're gonna it's gonna require you to do something different those new goals that you're setting that new mindset that you got out there oh baby that's gonna require you to do something different it's gonna require new habits out of you it's gonna require you to move different to speak different to study different to grind even different what happened over there ain't gonna be able to happen over here what you put up with, what you tolerated, what you settled for, you can't bring that over here. This new territory. But the thing that you got to understand, and I know this part right here. Whoo, double, double tap on my screen, double tap on my screen, double tap, double tap, double tap. We almost at 400K. Double tap on the screen. The thing about it is when you got that new territory, I just want to talk about that new territory. I didn't tell them this on Instagram, but I got I got, I got to say it over here. It's something about that new territory. Double tap on that screen. Send me some love real. I need for you to understand that when you, yeah, yeah, when you, when you smooth over in that, in that new territory, I'm, I'm, I want you to understand that you, it's not about what you put up with in your past. It's not about what you went through in your past. It's not about the hurt that you had to endure. It's not about the letdowns or any of that. You got to understand that when you get to that place in your life, when you over there and you slide on over into that new territory, that means that I'm reconstructing my own life. That means that in this moment right here, I'm picking and choosing who will be with me for the rest of this journey or for this portion of my journey that means that if i'm sharing space with you that means that that's because i want to if you i'm hanging out with you because that's because i want to when you slide over into that new territory and you wipe that slate clean then you're giving yourself a real second chance you're giving yourself a second chance and in that moment you're giving yourself permission to love you're giving yourself permission to feel you're giving yourself permission to live you're, yeah 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 and not just survive in life but to thrive in life come on yeah 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 baby i yo i i ain't doing no surviving i ain't doing no surviving in this season put that in your notes i'm not doing no sub i'm not doing no surviving in this season put it in your notes i'm not doing no surviving in this season i'm not surviving in this season what you doing baby i'm thriving honey Un I understand all in all areas of my life i'm gonna thrive that's in my business that's on my job that's in my family hello somebody i'm not doing no more surviving i'm coming up out of that survival mode and i dare you to i dare you to declare it over your life life i dare you to speak it over your life over your business over your brands over your family over your friends oh baby we're no longer surviving we're thriving that's right i no longer want these ends to meet i want them to wrap around each other i'm declaring blessings left and right that's right i want to press down shaking together running over it's somebody that owe me some stuff that's right i'm wiping my slate clean i'm giving myself permission to live i'm giving myself permission to grow i'm giving myself permission 
permission to let go of anything that has held me bound, anything that had me stuck, anything that had me stagnant, anything that had me self-doubting, anything that had me over there in fear, anything that had me over there thinking less of myself, anything that had me over there thinking that I wasn't good enough and that I didn't measure up. I'm giving myself permission to let that hurt go. That's right, the person that I used to be, oh baby, I ain't hurt no more. The way that I used to be crying out the folk, I ain't gonna be crying now, baby. Understand, I used to run out of you. You used to be trying to beg you to love me, beg you to accept me, beg you to pick me, beg you to do this and beg you to do that. Now my mentality is, I can't expect for you to love me when you don't love yourself. Can't expect for you to treat me like something when you don't even treat yourself like something. I'm at a place where I'm identifying the people that I'm dealing with, putting you right there and right there where you're supposed to be. I'm no longer putting people up here when they supposed to be here. You are exactly who you showed me that you were. I'm no longer playing this delusional pretend game. Hello, somebody. I'm not doing it. I'm not about to be. No, I ain't playing no pretend with nobody no more. I'm sick of that. I ain't doing no more pretend. I don't, yeah, that, all, that, that bothered me more than anything. I ain't, I ain't being delusional for nothing or nobody. You are exactly who you showed me that you were. You are manipulative. You are low down and dirty. That's what you are. You looking for somebody that you can control. You looking for somebody that you can take advantage of. You looking for somebody that you can walk like a dog. That's what you looking for. And you looking for somebody that you can come into their life and you can reap the benefits of them without having the responsibility of treating them the way that they supposed to be treated and guess what I'm not about to allow you to do that to me not in my life I'm gonna tell you that right now once I see that one and one ain't equal in two you gonna get gone understand that two fingers swinging aboard that mission I'm getting up out of your life expeditiously why because I don't have no more time to waste I've wasted all the love that I'm gonna waste I've wasted all the affection that I'm gonna waste I done wasted all the finances that I'm gonna waste I'm gonna tell you that right now I'm in a place in my life right now where I'm ready to do the necessaries and the moment that you push me into that place in my life where I got to start doing the necessaries just know that it's over for you yeah oh it's over for you baby always oh it's, it's it's over for you once I start doing the necessaries oh what's the, what's some necessaries all occurring oh that's over with we, we, once the necessaries come into place I need for you I need for you to understand that it's done for you might as well go ahead and cancel Christmas in February baby that you you might as well you might as well because you ain't gonna even make it to Easter messing around with me understand that once the necessaries start coming out i want you to understand that in that moment oh baby everything about to change because when i start doing the necessary what's the necessaries coach when i start signing up for classes because i need new skills and techniques when i start going on and getting in those webinars those seminars and getting into those conferences so i can learn more about myself and learn more about my development so that i can start self-healing when i start realizing that everything that i'm doing in my life is really personal when i start putting my time energy and effort focusing on me and my development oh baby that's when the necessaries is coming that's when they gonna start saying oh you doing too much it don't require all of that and you ain't gotta do this and that and the third you ain't concerned about that you're concerned about the impact that it's gonna have on your life because the more that i learn about me the more that i heal me the way the more that i focus on me and my development then the more i see the real you <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want me, to, yeah, yeah. That, then, I, then the, the more I work on me, the more I start to see the real you, and that's the reason why folk be getting so mad. They get mad, they get angry when you start working on yourself, and you've been trying to figure out why, coach. Why everybody mad at me? Why they mad at me because I put distance out there? Why are they mad at me because I ain't coming to the functions? They mad like I wasn't even that important. They mad like I wasn't even the person. You know what I'm saying? They didn't care whether or not I was there or not. So why, when I back away, when I put them distance there, when I stop coming around, why is it bothering so many people? Why are people getting all in their little feelings? Why are people say? And all this and that when I'm not even around I'm not even dealing with them because at the end of the day People already knew exactly who you were And they knew what it was that you contribute to that Group, that friendship, that family ship That job ship, that marriage, that situation Ship, they already knew the love The respect, they knew for a fact that they Could count on you, they knew that you were the backbone They knew that you was extremely loyal They knew for a fact that you were a genuinely good Person and what they know is that once You start learning about yourself and your Worth and your gifts and what it was that You was bringing to the table that in that that moment when you leave you're gonna take all that stuff with you and I am <laughs> yeah yeah and I am <laughs> and that's what they be mad about they, they, they baby they mad they mad that they mad that you leaving they, they mad them benefits leaving 
You ain't mad. You 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 mad. You mad because my couch is no longer available. You mad because I'm no longer swiping my card. You're mad because you no longer can depend on me. You're 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 mad at me now because I'm more loyal to myself than I am to you. See, people be cool with you being more loyal to them than you are to yourself, and that right there is a clear indication that you're dealing with the wrong individual. Because a person that genuinely loves you, that supports you, that want to see you operating at a hundred percent, they want you to take care of yourself first. When you have folks out here talking about, oh, they'll give me their last, well, why would you take it? Ain't no way in the world. If you knew that that was their last, you should have never even asked them for it. If you knew that they were already going through things in their life, then you ain't had no business going over there with your little funky behind, going over there begging them for anything, asking them for the anything, sitting over there with your sad story and anything else. When you already know somebody got something going on and you already know they are down, why would you go over there and try to pile on to what they already got going on? You should never be in a situation comfortable with anybody that'll take from you your last. Yeah, you ain't got no business giving nobody your last, even if you ain't know no better. You know better now. Be giving nobody, oh, I give a person a shirt off my back. The devil is a lie. Be way too cold out here to be talking about giving somebody the shirt off my back. The devil is a lie. That's me dipping into my cup. I can't dip into my cup for nobody. If I got a shirt laying around the house, you can have it. If I got a shirt in the trunk of my car, you can have it. But will I take the shirt off my back? I will not. I have boundaries. I am not going to put myself in a situation where I got to suffer for a soul. Don't care who you are. My son, I have to squeeze up in this jacket with me. Hello, somebody, but I will not freeze. Understand that I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. And people be so cool and so complacent, so comfortable with just saying that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't stand when people say stuff just because they feel like it sound good or say stuff just to get likes and comments and whatnot. Let's just be for real about life real quick. Let's tell people that it's okay for you to have boundaries, that it's okay for you to walk away from certain folk, that it's okay some folk don't deserve your love, don't deserve your, res your respect, your attention, your energy, or your efforts. Let's start being real with some type of folk. Okay, you know what I mean? Because I think sometimes the problem, the real problem be is that we got so many fake folk that's falling around us right now. So many yes men and yes women that they just go for anything. When you know for a fact that something is not good, when you know for a fact that it's not operating the way that it's supposed to operate and it most definitely ain't given what it's supposed to have gave, let's just normalize taking out the trash. Hello, somebody, because when my necessaries come into the place, I want you to understand that, baby, when my necessaries come into place, that means you didn't already cross too many lines. Ain't no coming back from that. When I cut you loose, I'm cutting you all the way loose when i cut let it go i'm letting it all the way go when i walk away i'm walking all the way about away from it ain't no returning it to it ain't no, no trying to understand and whatnot to make something work. I, I don't want it at all. I don't want it at all. I'm in a place in my life right now where if it's not exactly how I want and if it's not operating naturally, if it's not given what it's supposed to have gave, then guess what? You can have it. You can keep it. You can do whatever you want to do with it over there. Notice I said we're over there. Oh, oh, over there. I'm not settling. I'm not settling and I'm not putting up with nothing from nobody at all. And you develop that type of mentality by knowing how to suit yourself up, how to put on your whole armor. And understanding that at the end of the day, you're going to have abusive people everywhere. No matter where you go, you're going to have people that want to try to play with you mentally. That's going to try to play with you emotionally. Your friends going to do it. You got family members that's going to do it. You have it going on in relationships as well. You must follow me all the time because that's, that's my favorite thing to say. Suffering will equal. Anytime that you settle for anything in life, you will most definitely suffer. It's going to be some type of suffering attached to it. So great job. I appreciate you putting it in the comments. But at the end of the day, you got to understand that it's going to be some people in your life. You're going to run into these different type of people but you cannot afford to allow anybody to try to tell you who you are you do not allow other people to establish boundaries in your life you do not allow people to come into your life and dump all over you you do not allow people to come into your life and have that type of control controlling your mind controlling your thought process and controlling what you do and don't do you I want you to understand that you don't that's not the power that you give up because when I told y'all before what my grandmama said, when you blink the head, the body will die. That's that type of, that's the type of situation. That's that type of situation. It's like vegetable. You're not operating on your own. You're not operating on your own. You got somebody else telling you who you are. You got somebody else telling you what to do. You got somebody else telling you how to move. You got somebody else telling you how to feel. If you're not thinking on your own, then you're a vegetable. 
You got to wake up and have your own identity no matter what. You don't give up that type of power to anybody. Ever. You got you to gotta suit it up every day. Let me run through these notes real quick for y'all. First, the first note you guys should have is knowing who, knowing the people that you're dealing with. You gotta know, you gotta know these people. You gotta know who you're dealing with. Number two is understanding your wounds and your triggers so that you can respond in a healthier way, right? Number three is mastering your emotions, knowing that walking away is powerful. It's a powerful thing to be able to walk away. And number four is knowing when you turn it loose to turn it all the way loose. You can't heal from it and hold on to it at the same time. That's not how it works. When you let it go, you got to let it all the way go. You got to give yourself the same way you gave yourself permission to be stressed out, to be depressed. You know how y'all be like, oh, girl, I'm over here battling depression, giving yourself permission. Oh, girl, I'm over here battling stress and anxiety, giving yourself permission. Oh, girl, I'm over here and I'm just having a horrible day and oh, you're giving yourself permission. You know how you speak all that negative stuff all over your life. You're just giving yourself permission to walk around sad and depressed over there lighting your candle when you're already down bad over there playing the slowest music that you can find because you want to cater to that depressing state that you're in. You know what you do. You go over there, you're going outside of your way and even though you're in a bad mood, even though you're down bad even though you know already that you just slid down every available uh, wall inside your house knowing that you've been up pacing the floor all night long then you go sit in the dark and you cater to that i want you to understand that you didn't give yourself permission to go through all of those different emotions now why not give yourself permission to do something different why not give yeah you know they get dramatic you know when people they, they get real dramatic with it honey they got to set the scenery to cater to the depressing state that they already feel instead of already knowing that they having a bad mood they're in a bad mood or they having a dark hour or the wilderness just ain't what they wanted to be and you already know that, that you're feeling like that so instead of you picking yourself up dusting yourself off and saying that i'm about to take myself out i'm about to go hit the gym i'm about to pick up my self-help book i'm about to turn on ministry i'm about to turn on motivational speaking instead of you doing that you find the saddest song that you can find find the best candle the most depressing candle that you can light you know some of them candles they be putting you to sleep then they go and light that candle and then they be wanting to change to happen how you think that that's going to change something how you think that that's going to lighten your mood how you think that that's going to make you feel better i even had people arguing with me on my page about it why do you say that because it don't help you because it don't help you you're catering to that depressing state you're catering to that negative feeling instead of you doing things and bringing things into your life that's going to be uplifting and inspiring and motivating get up and get out take a drive go to the gym you know what i'm saying it's other things that you can do that will lift your spirit that will lift your mood give yourself permission to be happy permission to be healthy permission to really live of life permission to heal permission to grow you gave yourself permission to do all of those things over there why not do it you owe it to yourself everything that you're doing right now you owe this to yourself how dare you Come on, we, we, we got we to gotta be different about this thing, right? So those notes, I seen somebody say, go through them again. Number one is knowing. Thank you, Ashley. Loving single, I appreciate you. Number one note is knowing who you're dealing with. Identifying these toxic abusers, understanding these toxic abusers emotionally, and they, they abuse you emotionally and mentally. Identifying these people when they come around, you already know how it's going to be identifying those folks first because once you identify these particular people you already know what they're coming into your life to be so for my people that be at work when you know that they are toxic they are manipulative that they are play on your mental health and your emotional well-being in that moment you already know to guard yourself when they come oh baby i'm not finna give you the reaction that you want i'm not about to give you the energy that you want you're not gonna mess up my morning you're not gonna make me not productive i'm not about to do it identifying the people that you're dealing with knowing who they are the second thing is understanding your wounds slash triggers understanding why you feel uncomfortable when certain things are being said or certain things are being done so that you can respond out a out of a more healthier way some things you go you want to learn that some things you respond to and some things you don't number three mastering your emotions understanding that there's power in doing what walking away 
oh baby, I can just walk slam away from you. And that don't make me no coward. It don't make me no coward. It don't make me weak. It don't make me weak minded. It don't mean none of that, baby. That's right. I refuse to lose everything that I've gained for myself over you. You're not worth my peace. You're not worth my sanity. You're not worth my joy. You're not worth all of this, baby. I got too much on this table for me to throw it all away, stooping down to you, stooping down to your negativity, going over there, exchanging that type of energy, going over there, going back and forth with you when you're already in your mind committed to thinking and feeling the way that you are. Oh, baby, no, 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 no. I refuse to argue with a, bl a brick wall. I refuse to come over there and give my energy to it. I'm not about to do it. And number four, number four was understanding that when you turn it loose, you turn it all the way a loose. You can heal from it and hold on to it at the same time. You have got to make a decision. It's either you're going to hold on to that past, holding on to that broken behavior, hold on to these toxic narcissistic individuals, or you're going to let it go. But when you let it go, you got to let it go all the way. Ain't no spinning a block. Ain't no holding on to it because it's familiar and it's comfortable holding on to it because you scared to step out holding on to it because you don't know if you're gonna be able to do this and the third you gotta trust yourself and trust what you got going on in your life to know that anything is better than him that's right because if somebody got that type of control over your mind you are already a vegetable anyway you are walking talking breathing barely operating vegetable that's what you are you being told what to do when to do your life ever 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 wake up every single day i don't know what oh there it goes wake up every single day and understand that you are in total and complete control over your life understand that i don't control life but i control the way that i respond to it i don't have to give you my energy if i don't want to i don't have to stay in a situation where i'm not happy if i don't want to i don't have to engage with you i don't have to exchange conversation with you i don't have to interact with you in any way shape or form and people that follow me know what i call that that's the greatest form of peace that you will ever find it's only four of them sweetheart it, i want you that's the only that's the greatest form of peace that you will ever find is the peace of knowing that i don't have to engage i don't have to talk to deal with hang around share space with anything and anybody that i truly do not want to share space with and that's that on that understand so it was four of them all together i love you guys so much man what well, she says um I love you. I love you. I love you too. Um, completely control them. That's exactly right. So I'm a, uh, exactly. It was somebody that said that they didn't have something. I was trying to see who you were. Oh yeah, it wasn't a number five, babe. It wasn't a number five. Okay, so you only have four. I did see it when it uh, froze. So number number one is knowing is knowing who you're dealing with, identifying your abusers. Number two is understanding your wounds slash triggers, what makes you feel uncomfortable or disrespected. Number three was mastering your emotions, understanding that there was power in you walking away. And number four was understanding that you cannot heal and hold on to it at the same time. You have to make a decision. It's either you're going to grow and you're going to live life, not surviving, but thriving is either you're going to let go or you're going to hold on one or the other, but you cannot do both. I still got hoodies available on my website. I think Josh just posted it. So go to my website. I have hoodies and t-shirts um, all available on my website. You guys can go on there and grab them. I still do my um, t-shirts and hoodies. That's not going anywhere. Also, um, I do one-on-one -on -one life coaching Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. The link is also up um, in my bio where it says link tree street also, if you're not a part of my mental health support group, make sure you get subscribed to my Patreon expeditiously. We have class every single Thursday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, yes, make sure you sign up for that Patreon so that you can uh, partake in my class as well. And every single day that you wake up, you put 10 toes to the ground. I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self-love. And you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else thank you guys so much for tuning in it's your favorite online motivational speaker and life coach it's your girl street poet it's kind of like zoom but it's actually on stream yard so yes you guys will be online with me and you mute your mic when you want to talk and you unmute it when you don't have anything to say so it's kind of like it's kind of like zoom but it's not zoom
right so with that being said guys i'm gonna get up out of here i want you guys to enjoy the remaining portion of your day and continue to remember that you are in control you do not have to give your energy to anything or anybody that you don't want to give it to protect your peace at all costs and just because it's not physical abuse does not mean that it's not abuse emotional and mental abuse is still just as damaging if not way more damaging for every single person man thank you so much man i'm telling you i love seeing these emojis coming so man for every single person that have already subscribed to my live videos man shout out to y'all thank y'all so much i appreciate that more than y'all ever even know like i said i was real skeptical about even doing it and you know what i'm saying just to see you guys actually signing up and sending love and using the emojis and all of that that is amazing and i greatly appreciate all of that man thank you guys so much i appreciate and love you guys y'all enjoy the remaining portion of y'all day